What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Berserk Manga. Chapters 157 and 158. Shit is starting to really uh, pick up here. We've got Guts in the same location as Casca in the same location as Skull Knight in the same location as... Possibly a god hand? Uh, Skull Knight definitely did approach something. Um, at the end of last chapter, basically... I interpreted it as he knew something was there, or knew a god hand was there and called him out to show yourself, so... And then we also saw this, like, spider thing. Turn these pieces of shit into these, like, pseudo-apostles. It's pretty much as close as you can get. It, you see their wing, like, it's... It's a lot. Um... <laughs> so once again, unfortunately, what I think is going to happen is... Guts is good. Because what what would be wild is like if Skull Knight like showed up right here. He is here, but I'm saying showed up to this current encounter. I feel like he could wipe the floor with them really quick. Problem is Guts is gonna have to deal with this by himself because Skull Knight's got an actual god hand or two outside. Problem is, I feel like this is gonna they're gonna beat up Guts. Like he's gonna take some damage here. Which again is gonna have him weak and beaten and bloodied, and then our man Griffith touches down again, and he can't even put up a deal. Well, I, here's the thing. I don't even know if right now, currently in the story, Guts could even do anything. Because the God Hand, they have abilities. They're not just, like, otherworldly. Like, they, we've seen, like, X-Men mutant level type abilities. Um, so I don't know if there's a point in a story where Guts can ever actually defeat one, if not all of them, at the same time. Um, I mean, that's just a lot of questions that we'll have to get into. But... A different thing here is, though, unlike the guts we've seen for the last two years, killing apostles here and there and all that type of stuff, there's a different um, trigger here, which <laughs> is Casket is physically there. He can see her, and he is not about to go through that shit again. Um... Like, with what happened with the Eclipse and being essentially useless and not able to do anything. Um, I mean, I would love if he would just, like, clean swipe all of them in one go. I doubt that's going to happen. Um, we'll see. And there were some interpretations back and forth last episode of, like, was that Skull Knight showing care for um, Luca? Or was that Jerome speaking? I guess that's how you choose to take that. And then Nina of her, like... I had a couple people say I think it was open to interpretation. Like, it, it, was it taken in a way that like she finally has courage and like she's gonna she's not going to let Luca die? Like, I'm gonna hold on to you no matter like what. Or is it taken into interpretation as like Luca's got like a sadistic like oh your life is in my I, I feel like that's kind of open to interpretation. Regardless, there do seem to besides them on the field right now there seems to possibly at least be a god hand on the field. And I don't know what that spider figure represents. Is that a form of a god hand? Or, you know, what is... What is that TBD? We'll see. Let's make sure this is going here. You guys should be able to see the cursor. Boarding. Mic is good. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> this should be Friday's upload too, by the way. Chapter 157. They do look dope here, though. I'll give them that. The wings kind of really add to it. You fool who rebels against God, you shall pay for this sin with your blood? Fossils? No, they're not. Looks like they're pseudos. This feeling in my neck. There'll be plenty of trouble. There'll be plenty of trouble, and there's seven of them. Now, I always get this wrong. Any type of demons make the mark bleed, correct? In the vicinity? Any from lower level to just like your base level demons that come out at night? to apostles, to god hand, all of them can make that the mark bleed, right? Or is it just a god hand thing? I think it's any. From monsters in the cellar to angels in the tower. I'm fed up with this farce. Yeah, I think this is just so triggering at the moment. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is he here? Monsters, angels, and the black swordsman? What's going on? Black, you know about that guy? Before we were dispatched here, we Holy Iron Chain Knights followed him around for two years. 
Why got me only got me only those at the top know. And I'm not too sure about things. That means he's a big name. I hope this kid doesn't die here. I knew I was on target. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Ain't it obvious? I'm doing him a favor. He was really going to run in there and do what? Look in front of you. Go first, man. Guts behind you. Oh, my God. You're not have to... I mean, I would love some assistance. Um, I was thinking about this. I would... It'd be crazy if Puck could, like... I mean, Puck does do a lot. Um, I guess from a healing factor. I, honestly, I guess only from a healing factor and giving Guts, like, a companion. But, man, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, one of the last elves could, like, actually do something fighting-wise, you know? Like, whether he formed into something or had a burst of power. Maybe we will see that. I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is just a lot to deal with at the moment. I'd love to see him just like dot 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 and like swoop and grab Cask and be like, I'm over this bullshit. Like they just black out his face for like six pages straight. He slices all of them and it's just Mazgus left and he just grabs her and like he's just done with the bullshit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, well, he took off a wing and an arm and we've seen before like that shit won't grow back. There's something weird on your head, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh he's talking about the elves. And Jerome can see it. Awesome. Only because I'm in his corner. I mean, Jerome or Cedro, y'all don't have some, like, long range, just pop real quick, anything? Oh, shit. Surely, like, this little piece of shit doesn't actually grab us. Okay, okay, we're moving. When did he get so close? I was about to say, he did get on our ass with, like, no um, spidey sense kicking in. Like, he was just on us. No, actually, like... Ooh. Oof. Oof. Okay, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Did we get rid of his little ass? No, we didn't. And so close. The bite of guts is a cut above. This is a lot. Okay, so this isn't going to be just like a one hit. And the problem is we got to get through them just to get to her. And what's going to suck is... We get through this battered, bruised, bloody... Um, decapitate Mozgus, get rid of his big ass out the way. We're, f we're gonna like finally embrace her, which we haven't done in years. And the god hands are gonna appear and scoop her. It's 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 gonna be so depressing. <laughs> it's just all gonna be bad. Oh my god, he's over here with his big ass wagon wheels and shit. Oh, brother. Yeah. We ate that one. What do you want? What does she actually want here? I guess it'll be good for... Because the, the higher-ups have already called off the hunt for Guts. She's the only one still triggered by it because of what happened. Um, Maybe it'll be good for her to see this and not hate us. But I thought that before. I thought maybe us showing up at the little sex dungeon in the middle of the night and not helping them, but I mean, low key helping them would maybe have her look at us in a different light. But that's still TBD because she still wanted to run off and capture us. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, brother. Yeah, she's not going to, like, try to, like, attack us as well, correct? This is bad, kid. You really should run. I'm worried about Luca, too. This is one hyper-level fight. I'm used to it. What are you saying? 
We wait for an opening and snatch Casca? You want to abandon her? Are you serious? If you're a knight, then die in battle for women and children. I want to live for women. Hey, I mean, someone's got some courage. But it's also like the... It's also like the ignorant... The ignorance is bliss of like a child. Of not being able to assess like... How bad this is. Um, and thinking like, oh, like Guts can do it. Or, you know, I can do it. I can do something. Eh. You're asking a lot. You're asking a lot. Okay. Dude's over here just hulking out. Oh, they're all hulking out. What did he just pick up his decapitated arm and his... Oh, they're like really going. Step farther. And that's what I'm saying, like... It's so ass that we're actually having to deal with this shit. So you have these three. You got the one with the staff that hasn't even stepped up yet. And then we don't even know what Mazga does. I mean, he's over here blowing flame like a dragon. Um, I'm... I, I Like I said, I would love for him to get just so flippin' fed up with the bullshit. Like, why is there always... Like, why is she always right there but I can never do anything about it? You know, like, sometimes when shit, like, really hits the fan? I think we saw it recently, maybe within the last, like, 20 chapters or so. Where there was, like, an eclipse trigger. Um, and his face just, like, faded to black. <laughs> and he went there, like, he went there mentally. And was just, like, one-shotting. I would love to actually see that. Because I feel like the moment, like, kind of calls for it. I don't need to see what all of these guys... Because we know they're going to die. These pseudo-apostles. So we know they're going to get theirs. Um, and they serve no purpose to the story as far as, like, their abilities or what they can and can't do. So if he, like, was to enter that mental state and just be so over the bullshit, um, like, seeing her right there, oof. That'd be a lot. Alright, let me, let, me, let, me, let me see what chapter 158 is saying. Okay. Oh, wow. She's getting left with the horse. What is this? I'm kind of interested in this, too. Honestly, I'm kind of more interested in this because we rarely, rarely get Skull Knight solo pages. And it actually be serious. Not saying when he shows up it's not serious, but it's always, like he'll always show up and say something like a ominous or predict something that's going to happen soon that we need to get ready for and then he just like blast off again um i think the only times we've gotten some solo pages of him was in him when him and zod were really like going at it um so i'd be very interested to see like what the hell is about to happen just dialogue between him and a god hand would be serious let's see what's happening here before my eyes that's her speaking, right? Death and some strange monster in a field of corpses? It's like I've strayed into someone's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny how they did that with her thinking she was dead. That actually wasn't bad. Uh, like, comedy there. Not terrifying, so much as surreal. No, if I'm going to say that, then those monsters in the Tower of Mazgus and his are the same. Even Elaine. What the hell is happening here on holy ground this indescribable malice it's like it's like the world has begun to crack yep this is just like the eclipse all over again and these are all the dead bodies that they tortured right and they just kind of like dump and i think i asked this question a couple chapters ago you know mazgus you know preaches this and preaches that you know, you have to, you know, do your time and, you know, essentially repent. You know, this is, you did this, so this is why we have to do this. And was there, in his eyes, was there ever a, could you ever come out on the backside? Could you ever be forgiven? Like, if I get tortured, like, do, did anybody ever leave that torture chamber alive? Like, oh, that's enough. 
I think it was just all just torture to the point of like breaking and death and then dumped. There was no like redeeming. Is the way I've interpreted it. Can you show us this figure and stop this damn like mushroom silhouette? This is my garden. Living humans can leave. Okay, we know who. That's. Do you see the way this text is written? You guys probably can't see it. Let me try to like zoom in a little bit here. I'll have the back back out. You see how like freakily this text is written? Like some of the letters are bigger. The lines are kind of like. I mean, that's done on purpose. Clearly, I don't think you guys will be able to see it too much. Yeah, you see how that's written? I mean, I feel like that's deliberately. As opposed to, like, how... Not this bold text, but opposed to how, like, this text is written. Interesting. It, like, puts a voice... It, like, puts a voice in my head. Like, how I would picture that voice to sound. Hold on. Might have just messed everything up. There we go. Should be good. Oh, so you're throwing Tempest Kicks at us. <laughs> Excuse me for saying Tempest Kicks. I'm damn in the middle of that uh, One Piece uh, CP9 shit. Oh, is that, where the, is that where the spider things came from and the stingers and everything? So these have been the eyes, right? Is that... Are we saying that's the... Sp I mean, now it looks more like... A, if this... If what my cursor's on is what just jumped, then that's the spider? Interesting. And have these been the eyes the whole time? I guess so. I mean, we... We connected. Oh. Was it purposefully going for us? Don't turn Luke into something, please. She's been through enough. I mean, we connected. But again, I don't know if this is a god hand or not. Um, and then the follow-up question is, we don't even know if a god hand can be killed, number one. Then number two, how do you kill said god hand? Like, just with regular man-made steel. If I happen... If the stars and the moon aligned, <laughs> and somehow Luca was able to get behind a god hand... Because it's distracted with Skull Knight, or distracted with Casker, or distracted with Guts, whatever. We're just, like, cleaning the slate here. Luca had just a regular... She had Jerome sword in her hand. She somehow got to point-blank range and just decapitated. Is that, like, are we just kill? Is that it? I, I don't know. I don't know if they can or how to kill. Hmm. He really grabbed Luca and just dipped. Just scurried out there. Not bad with such wounds. He can't get far, though. However, that form of his... I'm trying to interpret what he means by that form of his. Because if it is a god hand, Skull Knight, of course, knows which one it is. So is that what he's saying? Because he already said he number one. I think we only know there to be one girl, right? Um, I mean, it has to be a god hand, because there's I don't think there's any apostles besides Zod that can actually keep up with any type of speed or power or anything. Um, so I'm assuming when he's saying he can't get far with those wounds, however that form of his, he knows it's a god hand, recognize, recognizes it is one of the god hand, but is perplexed by why it's in this spider form. And we pulled up that picture last episode when I Google searched like the god hands of who I think it was and I think we pinpointed who that silhouette looked like but we never saw anything look, look, looking like a spider like this and then if that is the case so this god hand has just this god hand has been here in the real world how I don't know what is this place did we just like shift dimensions what are we doing here there's your cross with <laughs> human spines being used as the wraparound. What is this? 
An image, an idol made of the skin and bones of priests? It's not like those made of stone. True power dwells within. Who are you? I'm nobody. Oh, here are the eyes. Never having been anyone, known by anyone, known by none, buried in oblivion, am I... Bro, you gotta make this text easier. Hold on now. Who got their hands on that shit? My earliest memory is of being in the trash dump at the base of that tower. Are we getting an origin story for a god hand here? Or are we saying this is one of the humans that got tortured, tossed... That silhouette makes me think, Papa, he didn't get tossed at the tower. I don't know. I thought it was our boy. Um, but why would he be so scared? I was thinking it was um, the man we just refer to as Joe. Because <laughs> um, that silhouette with the long hair kind of makes me think that that's him. But maybe it's not. because. But then we're saying like this... All, I don't think it could be Joe. Um, because we saw the eyes and everything floating around at the same time all the bad stuff was happening to Joe at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe we are getting a God Hand origin here. My earliest memory is of being in the trash dump at the base of that tower. Since I could first remember, I would hunt for... I would hunt for refuse with the maggots and rats... Without even knowing who I was, no one ever told me. When he says at the base of that tower, are we talking to... Well... Okay, so we're talking this actual tower that we're at right now. I thought we were going to refer to, like, that tower that, um... Remember Charlotte was, like, giving us backstory on, you know, the dungeon that Griffith was kept in. And how the first... Uh, what we thought to maybe be Skull Knight or the first night of whatever built down here, people got dumped down here and all that type of stuff. I'm, I was thinking that was the tower that this person's referring to. Um, but now it just looks like the tower that we're actually at. The black shadow towering into the tall sky, piercing cold and, and hunger? He got his hand on a behalit though. That's all that was there. I first knew of myself when as if Driven on by something, I went to spy on the humans above. Hey, what is that, a monster? They just start chucking shit at it. Back down to my own place. Then I dug a small hole. I came to fish through garbage at night, and by day I'd sit still in the hole as if not breathing. And so long, and, and so a long, long time passed. The shadow towered firmly, unchanging. My hole grew deeper so I could escape from it. Deeper, unknown to anyone, deeper. This is this is like a real so the same tower he's referring to is the tower that we're at right now. And he got his hand on a behillet. This is just an apostle? Possibly. But one day a strange thing fell down my hole. A corpse. The first human corpse I'd ever seen. I was unable to move as if frozen to that spot and then one after another came down at some point my dwelling was changed into the grave hole for the people who would started settling around here damn but he did get his yeah he got his hand on it I mean this is very like golem type shit like he's just, like this is his precious and he's just hanging out down here by himself him and his behillet until he could no longer. I was buried, crushed by corpses at the bottom of the hole. Oh, God. Ah, the eyes. And no one knew about it? I mean, eventually he just dies. But as I was starting to lose consciousness, I met them at the bottom of the hole. The five ain't... Hmm... So this isn't one. So he's already talking about five. So he is an apostle. Apostles? 
Angel showed me the world. I mean, he was meant to have that. Just like he was meant to turn Mozgus and his people into that. Just as Luca was meant to be brought down here. Suddenly I perceived myself as everything surrounding. Everything possessed a word from and meaning. I comprehended that the intense things filling my filling me were anger, sadness, and fear. Also that the world I knew was I really want to know what his voice sounds like. I don't know if we, if, it, if any iteration of Berserk has been animated to this far, but the way they're writing this text, I feel like his voice is supposed to be a certain way, and I can't picture how I want it to sound in my head. And that I was nobody buried and fading away in the deep. I cried out. I cry like both a baby's first and a dying man's last in a voiceless voice. And the angels answered me. They said, in exchange for something, we will grant your wish. That is a good question. Very good question. I ask this a lot. Maybe we're possibly about to find out. What does someone like this exchange? He has nothing to give. There's, he has nothing to his life. Nobody precious, nothing he loves. So would you have to like, I would say give a piece of yourself, but does that even count? And then it's like, okay, I give a piece of myself, but I'm still a, I'm still a, an apostle. I still essentially get all that back. What would you give? I don't know, but I'm pretty certain this is not God hand. This is apostle. Very interesting with these eyes though. But I'm wonder. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Let me let's finish this. For something, wish. In exchange for something, we will grant you. We will grant your wish for something. Wish, yes. The something is this world that surrounds me, and the wish is to hatch the perfect world. Yeah, I don't know what this shit is on going on over here. Wait, so is this him? Wait, is this his form now? Like, is he just a walking behillet with legs? So it's not a god hand. I, mean, I think we can eliminate that completely. I mean, he spoke about, like, the five coming to see him and yada, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Um, And he's got to be a newer apostle as well. Because it's an apostle that probably doesn't know about Skull Knight. And that Skull Knight has never ran into. So there isn't, like, a fear there type thing. How, like, Zod stands and fights and the other's, like run um but what what would he give in exchange i feel like this is a very this is not your just your average uh <laughs> this is not your average um apostle scenario i feel like like, something is happening here, and I'm not quite sure what the circumstances is are. Hold on, did I even... This needs to be clicked properly. I think I clicked too far. Try that, maybe. Um. Yeah, something happened here. This is not your regular run-of-the-mill, like, um... apostle situation like how does this because I feel like he has nothing to give and since these seem to be the eyes that we've been looking at for the last like 20 something chapters I feel I feel like he's been doing things that we've not seen apostles I mean apostles are crazy but it's usually always like a, a physical crazy like they transform they can fly they turn into this they turn into that but they seem to be all like in this one physical construct like they are they don't ascend like with abilities like we've seen the god hand um abilities that outstretch like what they can physically do or produce so but maybe it's it was the way it was being illustrated as well because they would show the eyes like overlooking the sky and 
coming out of like the darkness and on certain objects or like back in the corner of a room type shit um to where the way i interpret it is that is like he's he's just kind of ev like some like the eyes are just everywhere but doesn't mean he's physically there is how i'm interpreting it maybe that's just the way it was illustrated and i'm reading too deep in it too deep into it and he actually is physically at these places that we've seen the eyes but it's been it's been chosen to be illustrated as such like overlooking all of it at once but when you're putting the eyes in the sky and they're over here in the like under the moonlight and they're over here over here it makes me feel like he's projecting that while not having to actually physically be there which if that is the case we've never seen anything like this which I think is safe to say because we've never seen anything like this. <laughs> um, so it just look it just looks like he's a walking behillet with arms and legs. Um, very very interesting. I was I thought it was a god hand backstory there for a second. Um, but it looks like all this happened. Um, recently. Like, since the world started going to shit as far as, like, the sickness and everything in Midland, as soon as Mozgus and his crew, like, started holding up in this tower, um, and then they started dumping bodies is when his whole transformation happened. So he hasn't been around that long. Um, I wouldn't even say he's years old, if that. Huh. Interesting. I'm um, interesting to see how that would be explained. On, on just what it is, because it doesn't seem like your normal uh, apostle circumstance. And then um, Skull Knight got a good look at him, and he was perplexed by that form. I thought it was because he recognized that this is a god hand that I've ran into, but that's not the form that I'm familiar with. Um, and But then it also makes... It makes it a little more believable and a little more sense that the Skull Knight was able to damage him so easily with just like the strike of a blade because it's an apostle and not a god hand. So these are the just the stacking factors on why it's not. He mentions that there's five and there, to our knowledge there's only five so that makes him not one. Um, he was able to take damage. Um just easily and maybe maybe skull knight and guts can actually damage a god hand that easily the problem is just actually getting the chance to uh, strike a blow um and then he mentions you know them granting him a wish my question is what did he have to give like you have to exchange something for these wishes and the backstory he just gave us he had absolutely nothing he barely had himself but did he just give up his appearance? Which is fine, because what's appearance to you? You aren't interacting with anybody anyway. Um, I don't know. We'll just leave that there. A lot of head-scratching questions, so <laughs> we'll have to kind of wait and see how it plays out. I appreciate it, everybody. This is Friday's Upload. Again, if we're able to hit 150 likes, we'll have two more chapters on Sunday. If not, they'll be up on Monday. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Always.